Hi guys! This is Emma. Hi. So what we decided to do for this is we're going to do loads of quizzes on this site called Quotive. Where the, the one we found is would L lolly it like you for girls, gays and bi's. And for the occasion I have uh, my hat that has an L on it. First question. Do you want to talk to Ryuzaki? You? No. You? Nods. You? You? Yes. You? Yup. You? Yes. L says, hello, I am L. You say, sup bro. Uh. Waves or blushes. Her high. Her high. L says, so what's your favourite colour? You say, blue. Not telling you. Good green. Pink. Blue, because it is the... L says, Wanna role play? You? Hell yeah. No. Okay. Or I love role play. Hells to the air! L says, I kiss you. How do you react? You say, I smile and slightly blush. I kick you where the sun don't shine. I blush. Or I smile, slightly blush, and kiss your cheek. The last one. So the person doing the quiz says, I'm back. And L says, so loud. Do you say, yo, flips me off, ha hey, or hi, yo. It's the end of the quiz, goodbye. Do you say, bye, finally, bye, dot dot dot, or bye bye and blush? Um, bye bye and blush. Oh, apparently in that one, L kisses your cheek and says, bye beautiful. Aww. And you got, he loves you. It looks like you've stolen his heart. I love Elle. He's so cute. And Alex asked, what do you think, Elle? Elle says, Emma is amazing. She's so cute and kind and I really like her. And, it's just, and then he says, okay, okay, I have a crush on her. She's beautiful and sweet and kind and I want to marry her. Who doesn't? The author of the quiz says, you know she's reading this, right? And he says, what? And you come out. Come Kira. out as in, I'm gay, come out. No, come out of somewhere. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> and then you say, yes, I like you too, L. And, and then we have a hot, steamy sex in the bathtub. No, you just say, I love you and kiss. I can roll with that too. <laughs> <laughs> Random quiz, what's it about? What's it about? What do you feel? Okay, this is one's for me. What do you feel? Okay. What do I feel? <clears throat> I feel horses. No, that's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Number one, when you and your friends, family or both get into a fight, what do you do? One, walk away, they're not worth it. Two, go upstairs to your room and cry or go on a walk and cry. Three, get violent, beat the crap out of them, you're angry. Probably go up to my room and cry. Number two, your best friend's boyfriend broke up with her. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't have a boyfriend, I'll only throw out a lol. What do you do? Number one, find him and make him cry. <laughs> Number two, have a girls' night, just you and her, and talk about mad crap about him. Three, tell her everything that's great about her, that he made a huge mistake, then put his face on a dartboard and throw darts at it. I'm gonna go with the last one. Number three, your teacher asked to speak with you privately after class about why you aren't doing well in class. You answer, one, maybe you don't teach well enough, two, ah, just some problems going on at home, sorry about the work, three, what? I'm doing great! probably want to say the first one, but I'm too much of a coward, so I'll go with the second one. Number four. In passing periods, your number one, avoiding anyone and everyone. Number two, saying hi to everyone. Number three, hurrying to your next class. You've gotta be there on time, you nerd. Four, wait until everyone is out of the hallway and then go to your next class. Yeah, I'll wait until everyone's gone. Oh, that's cute. Oh, let fate decide. Oh, right. oh, 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 uh, uh, fourth <laughs> one. Fourth one, fourth one. There's nothing written on there, just in case you're wondering. Oh. Do you want oh. me to read that out? Okay. Apparently, I feel depressed. 
Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's alright, oh. Rachel. It's alright. We all know the field. It's okay. It's okay. You're here on the internet. Mm -hmm. About 75% of us are depressed, so <laughs> it's fine. Do you think I should go to the doctors now? Probably. Now I've been diagnosed. By <laughs> <laughs> professionally <laughs> diagnosed <laughs> by the internet. Do not argue. Which Nightmare Before Christmas character are you? Do you like to scare people? Number one, yes, always, and in the worst way possible. Number two, sometimes, but only for fun. Three, no, I prefer to make friends and be happy. Or four, yes, it's the entire purpose of life. The fourth one. <laughs> Which holiday is better, Halloween or Christmas? One, Christmas, it's so jolly. <laughs> number two, Halloween. It's simply terrifying. And number three, neither. I hate holidays. Too many people. Third one, please. I don't like people. Do you like people? One, I have to. If not, I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> two, I, I am chronically depressed. <laughs> but, but nobody knows because I love everybody. Two, depends on the type. Three, yep. People are great. Number four, only if I can torture them. <laughs> if not, they're not good for anything. Depends on the type. Joy, love and happy endings. Or fear, hatred and terror. Number one, joy, love and happy endings are the best. Fear is horrid. Number two, joy, love and happy endings. Fear and hatred get old with time. The second one, what's life with no fear? Or fear, hatred and terror. Uh, third one, what is your main goal in life? To be happy and live life to its fullest. Planning, throwing parties, being an entertainer and making sure every last thing is perfect. Or three, making everybody else miserable. Last one. Everyone must be miserable with me. Favourite colour? Anything eerie and dark. Or anything light and happy. Eerie and dark. Because my soul is so dark. You are the mayor. Oh, Thank he's you. really fat. <laughs> so I hope you found that video entertaining. Because, like, it was interesting to film and... Can I help you? Okay, this just got weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you like to see it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you feel like 